We're on our way to South Texas on a family trip, and our first stop is a check stop on the Interstate 35, just outside of Waco, Texas. We usually stop here to buy one of the iconic foods of Central Texas, kolaches. A kolache is a yeasted bread filled with a topping, which can be sweet or savory. German and Czech immigrants settled here in the early 1900s and brought this amazing bread that Texans love to eat at any time of the day, but especially for breakfast. This place is a very popular destination, and even through the COVID season, they have managed to keep it open to sell their delicious treats to all their customers. These exquisite tender and buttery collages with a streusel topping are worth the wait any day. Enjoy my personal interpretation of this Texas classic bread using sourdough starter. Pour 240 grams or one cup of milk in the bowl of a stand mixer. Add 50 grams or one large egg. And 36 grams or two and three quarter tablespoons of sugar. Add 100 grams or a third of a cup of sourdough starter at 50% hydration. To make this sourdough starter, combine 25 grams or one and three quarter tablespoons of water in a jar and add 25 grams or one tablespoon of sourdough starter and 50 grams or a third of a cup of flour. Mix the ingredients with a silicone spatula. Then use your hand to knead the dough until you get a stiff ball of dough. Cover with a lid and let it ferment for about eight hours or until it doubles in size. Feed the stand mixer with the hook attachment and mix for a couple minutes until the sourdough starter dissolves in the mix. Add 400 grams or two and a half cups of bread flour to the mixing bowl. Mix at low speed until the dough starts to pull off the walls of the bowl. Then add 60 grams or four and a quarter tablespoons of butter at room temperature cut in pieces. Add the butter gradually as you keep mixing the dough. Finally, add eight grams or one and a half tablespoons of sea salt. Knead the dough for about 20 minutes or until it looks soft and elastic like this one. Transfer the dough to your working table. Stretch and fold the dough a couple times and make a ball of dough. Place the dough in a grease proofing container and let it proof until it doubles in size in a warm place for about 4 hours or place it in the fridge to proof overnight. Take the dough out of the fridge and portion it right away in 12 equal pieces. Use a kitchen scale to portion the dough in equal pieces. This is a crucial step to get equal sized collages in the end. Make balls with the dough, stretch and fold the dough and roll it on the counter to add tension to the dough. Cover the dough with a plastic lid or a plastic wrap and place it in a warm place to proof for about two hours. In the meantime, prepare the fillings for your collages. Place in a mixing bowl 225 grams or 8 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. Add one egg yolk. I am using organic eggs, so the color of the cheese filling will be more yellow than the usual white cheese filling. Mix with a silicone spatula and add 100 grams or half a cup of granulated sugar. Mix well until the ingredients are well combined. To make the raspberry jam, place 340 grams or two and three quarter cups of fresh raspberries in a saucepan. Add 100 grams 
or half a cup of sugar and the juice of one lemon. Mix the ingredients well with a silicone spatula and cook at low heat for about 20 minutes or until the filling has the right consistency. Not too runny and not too thick. Let the raspberry jelly cool off at room temperature before using it in this recipe. To make the streusel, mix in a bowl 25 grams or 1 8 of a cup of cold unsalted butter, cut in pieces, with 75 grams or a third of a cup of granulated sugar. Use your hands to press the butter and the sugar together. Add a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Add 16 grams or an eighth of a cup of flour. Place all the ingredients on your working table and use your hands to combine the ingredients well. This process has to be done quickly to avoid melting the butter. Mix until you have a sand-like consistency like this one and place the bowl in the fridge. Now, grease your fingers, especially your thumb, with cooking oil and make a hole in the middle of the dough balls. Make sure to expand the dough well to the sides as you keep pushing the dough from the center to the edge of the dough. Fill the dough with the raspberry and cheese fillings. I am using a third filling with a mix of berries that also includes blackberries and it is very delicious. So you can use any filling you want. Cover the dough again and let the dough double in size for about 4 hours. When the dough is ready, add a spoonful of streusel on top of each one of your collages and place them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes or until they are golden brown. As soon as your collages are out of the oven, brush them with melted butter and let them cool off before you enjoy them. You will love these collages. They are super delicious. Just let them cool off well and don't burn your mouth like I did. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video and please subscribe. I have a new video every week.